It's an environmental disaster. Tens of thousands of hectares of trees and peatland have been destroyed by raging forest fires in Indonesia. The fires have made the country the world's worst carbon polluter in recent months, causing air to turn toxic and endangering wildlife. The cause of all these fires? Slash and burn, the fastest and quickest method to clear land for new plantations. These forest fires highlight the urgent need to take a regional, multi-stakeholder approach to tackling the critical issue of deforestation. No company is more aware of this than Asia Pulp and Paper, the third largest pulp and paper producer in the world. In 2013, APP launched an ambitious forest conservation policy, which includes a moratorium on all natural forest clearance. Two years on, and how has the policy impacted APP's work on the ground? And what are the key challenges that lie ahead? Edis comes to this concession here in Indonesia to find out. Over the course of a week, APP would give me first-hand experience of the complexity of Indonesia's landscape, concluding with a revealing and brutally honest interview with the group's Managing Director of Sustainability. The scale of the challenges are so great. I mean, I knew there were illegal loggings happening and everything else back then, but I do know that the challenge would be so great. It began with a helicopter ride deep into a 178,000 acre biosphere reserve within Indonesia's Rao province, which was first initiated by APP's owner, Sinar Mass Group. We then took to the water for a boat ride into the core part of the reserve, which acts as a buffer to protect the area from illegal logging and encroachment. Back on land, I met the head of forest conservation for Sinar Mass Forestry, who explained the positive impact that APP's forest conservation policy has had on the area. Uh, after the, the, the launch for, for the policy from the APP, we starting to uh, make the socialization and follow the procedure. And then not only inside the concession, uh, Sinar Mas Foresti follow the regulation for, and, and care about the environmental, but outside. Outside concession is like the, now in here is the Biosphere Reserve. This is the collaborating collaborating uh, uh, stakeholder to, to care and to protect the, our forested, forested land in Pit and Swan. And has there been any conflict here in this biosphere reserve or has it all been okay so far? Yeah. Because in here is still many uh, wildlife species. Of course, the, sometimes uh, people around there looking, looking at the, any uh, Sumatran tiger coming with the village, and but we always uh, respond with the Ministry of Forestry province and try to to minimize to minimize the conflict. The, this is the the good initiative for the, because now if the company or or etc. if not care about the antenna will will be <laughs> caused and and in it. We, we we cannot sell the, our our product. Already. Next up on the tour, we visited APP's nearby Perawang Mill, which employs 9,000 people and produces almost 5 million tonnes of pulp and paper each year. With supply chain traceability forming a central part of APP's forest conservation policy, the company now offers chain of custody certification for its products, ensuring all wood deliveries have come from legally certified and well-managed sources. Any wood that doesn't have the required documentation is rejected and doesn't enter the mill. My tour ended with a trip to a press conference being held next to APP's head offices in Jakarta. The group's head of sustainability, Ida Greenbury, was announcing an unprecedented commitment to immediately retire some of the group's commercial plantation areas in a bid to reduce emissions. When we caught up after the conference, Ida explained the need for APP to lead the industry with what she called a landscape approach to deforestation and sustainability. You must uh, look at the forest as a landscape. Our raw material comes from plantation. Plantation is part of a bigger landscape with so many different land uses. This landscape sometimes is located on pit domes or pit areas. So in order to make sure that um, our plantation stays sustainable, stays healthy, we need to make sure that the landscape stays healthy. <clears throat> but if the rest of the players in the landscape do not care about the health condition of the landscape. We cannot keep it keep the whole landscape healthy. 
and nobody, as I said, this, this pit retirement exercise never been done before, and nobody would do such a thing unless somebody leads. This is what we're trying to do today. Try to make the first step, trying to lead, try to show example to the government who is still not sure how uh, uh, to implement best practice in bitland management in their country. When people see that this makes sense environmentally and also business-wise, then people hopefully will try to follow our steps and together with other stakeholders in the landscape, together then we can protect the integrity of the bid down. In just a few years, Asia Pulp and Paper has emerged as a leader when it comes to deforestation. The group's forest conservation policy serves as proof that even the most complex supply chains can be sustainably managed. But as Indonesia's forest fires rage on, Ida knows that APP's deforestation pledge is a never-ending journey. When, when we launched it in February 2013, I literally didn't expect that the challenges would be so great. I didn't know that there are factors that we cannot control, such as certain un unauthorized uh, encroachment or, or forest fire from other players in the landscape that would you know, corrode our uh, commitment. I didn't calculate that. And, and the scale of the challenges are so great. I mean, I knew there were illegal loggings happening and everything else back then, but I didn't know that the challenge would be so great. And secondly, I would expect that it would be easy to convince people about the zero deforestation concept, about the landscape approach concept, about the high carbon stock approach, but it's not easy. Uh, a lot of people are still skeptical. You know, other concession holders are still caps, caps, uh, skeptical. The government has not adopted it as a, as a policy. So um, it's the enormous challenge, but when you want to make such a big change, when you want to change from business as usual, when you want to restructure the way forest is being managed in Indonesia, you knew it wouldn't be easy. You know, you knew that we'd be dealing with so many skeptics who don't want to help you. That's part of life. Somebody asked me today, Ida, when is your job going to finish? When are you going to finalize your job? And then I asked her back. So you should ask that question to yourself. When are you going to stop taking care of the environment? It's a never-ending job.